एवरी वन यस्टरडे वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेल इट्स डेफिनेशन डिफरेंट शेप्स साइज नंबर एट्सेट्रा नाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट सेल्स वेरी इन देयर शेप साइज एंड नंबर वी नो दैट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नंबर ऑफ सेल्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू टू टाइप्स दैट इज यूनिसेल्यूलर एंड मल्टी सेल्यूलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स ओके दिस इज द रिकॉल ऑफ यस्टडेज लेक्चर वी ऑल नो दैट रोबोट हुक डिस्कवर द फर्स्ट डेड सेल एंड एंटोन वैन लिवन हुक डिस्कवर द फर्स्ट लिविंग सेल clear everyone now one more word which we had discussed yesterday that is microscope we were discussing that robot hook observe the first dead cell in the slice of cork under the microscope today we will discuss about microscope how it works and how it looks like clear everyone microscope is a greek word again greek is an ancient language and microscope is the word of that language which means micro means a small and scope scope means to see microscope means the instrument which is used to see the small objects which we are unable to see through our naked eyes clear everyone galileo galilei is a scientist who discovered the microscope clear see how microscope looks like i think you people are familiar with this instrument you have seen this instrument in your biology lab okay if you haven't seen i will show you when school will open clear everyone now see here i am going to tell you the different parts of microscope and their functions see the very first part of the microscope this is eyepiece eyepiece or we can say that ocular lens eyepiece or ocular lens o c u l a r ocular lens this part of microscope is used by the human beings or we can say by us to observe whatever we want to see clear now this is the tube like structure see this one this one this is a tube like structure which establish a connection between eye piece and the lens this lens clear okay now this is a tube which establish the relationship between eye piece and the lens objective lens now here see this is a knob knob or we can say some page okay knob it's an adjustment knob which is used to adjust the adjust the level of eye piece or the distance between objective lens and the material which we want to see see this gap there is a gap this adjustment knob is used to maintain the gap between the objective lens and the and this area later on i will tell you about this area okay now the next labeling is objective lens see objective lens the work of objective lens it is the main part of this 
microscope objective lens see the role of this objective lens is used to magnify the object which we want to see now what is magnify what is magnification clarity to increase the clarity of the object of the material which is lying on the slide clear which is lying on the slide later on i will tell you about the slide also okay first of all objective lens it is now the next thing is slide it is a simple glass flat glass like a structure that we used to keep kept it over there material this circular part material is lying on that slide and through this eye piece through this area the object which we want to see is clear to us okay this is the stage where slide is lying this is the arm to hold the microscope this is the base which provides support to the microscope and the next important thing is this illuminator this one you have already studied about lenses this is a lens which is lying over here the role of this ocul illuminator is to reflect the light and establish clarity on the slide how clarity see when it reflects the light over there it means the object is having the maximum visibility maximum light that's why before using the microscope we have to adjust the lens according to the sunlight whenever we want to use the microscope we have to kept it under full sunlight so that the light, the maximum light will get reflect and we can easily observe whatever we want to see when school will open i will show you the slide of spirogyra clear everyone i will show you show it to you now see this picture see there are two objective lenses one is this one and the other one is this one both are having different magnification power magnification means intensity clarity closeness how much the visibility clarity so if the object is more dense the material which we want to see is dense we will change the magnification one objective lens is more more power of magnification one objective lens is of 10x and the other one is of 15x it means 15 more intensity more power and 10 is having less power than 15 okay everyone now write down the question from your book this is an exercise question nobody will get confused and this is your class work clear everyone this is your class work rest of the things you people are only listening but you will write this question in your notebook properly okay write it down explain the parts of a compound microscope with the help of a label diagram clear this is long question number 1 of your book explain the parts of a compound microscope with the help of a label diagram write it down in your notebook or wherever you people are working okay now start writing the answer these are as follows see first one is eye piece it is the lens at the top to see the object it is the lens at the top to see the object 
next tube tube is the part which connects eye piece to the objective lens tube is the part which connects the eye piece to the objective lens third arms it supports the tube it supports the tube and helps to hold the instrument and helps to hold the instrument base it is the bottom of the microscope it is the bottom of the microscope which provides support illuminator it is the lens which reflects the light to the slide and helps to make the object clear and helps to make the object clear stage it is the platform it is the flat platform where slides are placed objective lens objective lens enhance the magnification power of the eye piece lens objective lens enhance the magnification power of the eye piece lens now your class work is over see again this is the part is just only to listen to understand okay so what are slides it is a thin flat piece of glass used to examine material under the microscope see just a flat glass here this slip is pasted to write the name of the slide whatever the material which we are keeping it over there on the slide if we are making the permanent slide later on i will explain about explain it to you see here this is the stage of the microscope where we are keeping the slide these are the clips stage clips helps to hold the slide properly and then these are the objective lens from where the magnification the light is falling on the lens and through eye piece the person can be able to see the structure of the material which we are keeping it over there okay it's clear to you clear everyone still if you have any doubt when i will show it to you in the school definitely your doubt will get clear okay now bachche slides are of two types whether we are making temporary slides or we are making permanent slides tomorrow i will discuss about temporary and permanent slides but now listen very carefully i have dictated the answer of long question number 1 but one part is left that is the diagram of microscope which you have to draw in your notebook as your homework clear everyone this will be your homework diagram of compound microscope figure 1.4 page number 2 with proper labeling labeling should be on right side with capital letters see again and again i am telling you labeling should be on right side with capital letters as you people already know that we will deduct marks for this thing during the exams if you people are not going to be label the diagram on the right side with capital letters see like this clear everyone it's clear to you all okay thank you everyone